Ar-Rahman, the most or entirely merciful. Ar-Rahim, the bestower of mercy. Al-Malik, the king and owner of dominion.
I ordered a bag for Eid and I had no idea well okay it was from a Turkish site and I thought that it will come from like a Turkish company after I order it it says your order will be shipped from China I think it's actually from Hong Kong and I was like what and since I ordered this bag for Eid I'm like is it gonna make it until Eid? Is it gonna make it until Eid? I got a, a bit stressed, but then it just made it. We still have like uh, like five days until Eid. First of all, I am in love with the packaging. Let's open it together. Okay, this is the page I got it from. But first, let's open the bag. Oh my god, this is so exciting. I think it's the bag that I ordered. Oh, this is too cute. Oh my god, oh my god. Yep, it's the bag I ordered. It's the exact same bag that I ordered. Oh my god, alhamdulillah. Guys, this is gorgeous. I love it. I freaking love it, it's here! Ah. I'm gonna link the bag below in the description box, so make sure to go check it out, but okay. Alhamdulillah, we are finally done with cleaning. We did like a very deep, super deep clean out for this Eid. It's not only for Eid, but it's also for summer as well. We got rid of all kinds of rubbish that were in our home and we're clean, Alhamdulillah. And now I'm gonna order food. I'm still not fasting and I don't think I'll be able to fast um, ever again. Well, obviously until next Ramadan, but for this Ramadan, I think I'm done. Um, so, yeah, it's, I did early Eid. <laughs> This is going to be the tafakkur session part of this video uh, however it's going to be a little different from my usual tafakkur sessions 
So let me just quickly start off with my Tafakkur session intros. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Alhamdulillahi alladhi hadana li hadha wa ma kunna li nahtadiya lawla an hadana Allah. Wa salatu wa salamu ala sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Amma ba'd. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In today's Tafakkur session, I want to reflect on how I spent this Ramadan. So Tafakkur doesn't only mean to just reflect on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creations, but it's just like general reflecting on the deen, reflecting on yourself, how you are just doing recently in terms of like your religious deeds, in terms of your connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's what I'm going to do in this Tafakkur session. I just want to reflect on how I spent this year's Ramadan and how my connection was with Allah and just update you guys with uh, did I achieve my goals for this Ramadan or not? So yeah, welcome to today's topic session and I hope it will be a beneficial one for you. So while reflecting, I will obviously use this Ramadan journal from Dean and Chai because this is how I prepared for Ramadan and this is how I want to end Ramadan as well. So for this Ramadan, you guys know, if I mean, if you've watched my Ramadan preparation video, you most of you probably know like my main goals for the month. Did I actually achieve my goals? We're gonna look at it together. Okay, yeah, this was my Ramadan goals page. And this one was like setting my intentions for Ramadan page. So let's see if I actually did it by the way today is the 27th day of ramadan last night was laylatul qadr well it was like laylatul qadr uh, on the calendar but obviously we don't exactly know which night was laylatul qadr but as you guys saw since i am in my menstrual cycle i couldn't obviously fast or pray like the salah but what i did was i tried my very best to um, do all my acts of worship after Maghrib so throughout the day I just did my daily chores which I had a lot especially these days as you guys watched from this video and uh, after Maghrib I did my worshipping so that's what I tried to do may Allah accept it and now I just came to the living room because the atmosphere in this room is currently very cozy also I have my cup of hot tea with some chocolate right here but anyways now coming to this year's Ramadan first of all oh my god how quick this Ramadan just went by it is crazy you guys I can't even like believe oh my god you know it's really difficult to like comprehend the fact that there's some of this Ramadan just like flew by and here we are there there's only like three days left until Eid and honestly, this is not good, you guys. This actually terrifies me a lot. Like, why did this Ramadan went by so quickly? You know, I mean, I definitely felt the barakah of the month, that's for sure. But I don't know. It truly felt like this Ramadan was different. And I'm not saying this in like super positive way because it low-key terrifies me. Like, why did it went by so quickly? And why did it felt like so different? You know what I mean? I mean, alhamdulillah, I achieved most of my goals, but still, it just didn't give the vibe that I used to get in past Ramadan. I hope that makes sense, but I feel like it is the same for most of the ummah. I mean, I scroll through TikTok, especially a lot these days, but like I'm watching a lot of like Muslim TikToks, a lot of like little uh, like Islamic lecture TikToks, um, and <laughs> they are really beneficial, by the way. Um, but then sometimes I come across these kind of TikToks. Uh, in which people are like, there's some Ramadan went by so quickly, it feels so different, but l not like a good different, like a, a worrying type of different. And uh, is it the end of the world? Is Qiyamah coming up? <laughs> I don't know, you guys. Honestly, it felt really different. It went by really quick. And I truly feel sad that we're coming to the end of this month. And the thing is that I wasn't expecting, I mean, it's going to be a little TMI, but I wasn't expecting my menstrual cycle to come at the last 10 nights because I was expecting it like on the second 10 nights of Ramadan not the third one so that's why my mood was kind of off when my period didn't come on the second uh, 10 nights I was like oh my god I'm doomed I will probably get it at like the last 10 nights probably like the third one the last one and it just happened that way I got my period 
um, in the last 10 days of Ramadan and that just screwed up my mood to be honest because I was like so motivated for the last 10 nights I I I just I don't know you guys I just wanted to fast in the last 10 nights especially last night which was Laylatul Qadr um, but I couldn't but then again I did my best in terms of my religious deeds and worshipping so again may Allah accept them but yeah, that, those are my thoughts on this year's Ramadan. Alhamdulillah, um, it was productive overall. I mean, I achieved most of my goals. Okay, so my main goals were, first of all, memorizing Ar-Rahman. And Alhamdulillah, I actually did that. Um, that's like the best goal of mine ever that I actually achieved in this Ramadan. Honestly, it was like a hot minute since I actually memorized a whole new surah. So this Ramadan, I was like, Husna, you got to gather yourself up together and start memorizing new surahs once again. So I started with Surah Ar-Rahman, obviously, because first of all, I just love that surah. Uh, the meaning is like very deep. Like you actually need to feel the meaning with your heart, not only just like understand it or like listen to it, but you also have to feel it deep down in your heart. Uh, and then second of all, it's not like super long nor super short. It's like something in the middle. And plus, most of the verses are the same, which is So that's why I was like, this surah will be a good start for me to finally start memorizing surahs once again. So Ar-Rahman was my goal for this month. And Alhamdulillah, you guys, I actually memorized Ar-Rahman. And I'm still like so happy about it. And I finally started also reciting it during my salahs as well. So, yeah, I don't know. If you start reciting the surah you memorized in Salah, then it means like you really have memorized it. Alhamdulillah. And I actually memorized it. So I'm really, really proud of myself. Um, now, the second goal of mine was finishing the Quran from the first till last juz, which is Khatam al-Quran. I did that as well, alhamdulillah. Um, I still have like the last juz, the, ter the 30th one, but I'm going to... You know, do that inshallah. I still have like a couple of days until Eid. Um, but overall, I count myself as like I have done the Khatam al-Quran. Um, so I am really proud of myself about that as well. Well, that's like my annual Ramadan tradition. I do that every Ramadan. Um, and Alhamdulillah for Allah that he gives me such an opportunity to finish the Quran in every Ramadan. Don't miss the Hajjid. Well, um, there were some days in which I couldn't pray to Hajjid uh, because you know I got up late for Suhoor I was almost missing Suhoor so I kind of skipped to Hajjid as well but overall Alhamdulillah I did pray uh, to Hajjid so I'm counting that as a yes because I feel like there are only like a couple days which I couldn't pray to Hajjid but mostly I did so Alhamdulillah for that as well praying Taraweeh at the mosque so I also did this as well Alhamdulillah there are again only a couple of nights in which I couldn't actually physically go to the mosque and pray Taraweeh because my mom was not there with me and I don't want to go to the masjid alone um, and yeah like that was actually the main reason why I couldn't attend uh, Taraweeh at the mosque some nights but overall in most nights of Ramadan I actually went to the mosque to pray Taraweeh so I actually achieved that goal as well Alhamdulillah post more Ramadan videos I am counting this as a yes because usually I maximum like upload three to four videos in Ramadan but this year's Ramadan I upload more than four videos so this is also a yes for me alhamdulillah more adhkar and salawat i actually did not miss my adhkars and salawat for this ramadan even when i'm like in my menstrual cycle as you guys saw i did not miss them so alhamdulillah for that as well and then productive qadr night so this one i'm not sure if i should say yes or no because i mean again tmi but sorry you guys i have to you know be realistic and honest um, I was in my menstrual cycle, so I don't know if that counts as a productive Qadr night. But my dua is that may Allah accept it as like I spent a productive Qadr night because he knows my intention. He really like he knows that I really wanted to fast during the Qadr day and the late Qadr night. Um, and yeah, those were my overall goals. And as you guys uh, heard I achieved most of them which I am so happy for especially like I memorized Surah Ar-Rahman like that's the biggest uh, happiness of mine for this Ramadan because honestly when I was writing down that goal I was like how am I going to memorize that Surah because it has been really like a long long time ever since I memorized Surahs and even though if I memorize Surah I usually memorize the short ones just so that I can recite them during my Salahs but long Surah I I had like no idea how I just could 
you know, memorize that. But then I did it, alhamdulillah. So I'm really happy for that. May Allah help all of us to just make all of these as a habit and not only do them in Ramadan, but also after Ramadan as well. Um, and some other goals are like kind of personal, but overall, as you guys saw, I achieved most of my goals. And by the way, I'm not like trying to brag here and be like, oh, like I'm the best Muslim out there. Like I'm achieving my goals in Ramadan and blah, blah, blah. No, you guys, it's just that since I shared with you guys uh, my goals in my Ramadan preparation video, I also wanted to share with you guys, just like update with you guys, whether or not I actually achieved them and how I just, you know, spend my Ramadan overall and just reflect on this month. My aim is not to do like a Riya or anything like that. So I just want to clarify that because I do receive comments like, sister, you shouldn't like show yourself worshipping and blah, blah, blah. But my aim is to like, really, Allah knows the best, but... My aim is to just motivate you guys because I see your comments like, Husna, you're really motivating me to become a better Muslim. And that's amazing, alhamdulillah. Allah bless me with this, you know, platform and with this amazing community. So I, my responsibility is to spread the truth, you know, spread kindness and kind of influence uh, us all. Like not only you guys, but even influence myself towards getting closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I hope you guys understand that. Um, I mean, of course you guys do, because y'all are so freaking sweet, so kind and so supportive. So I'm really, really, really grateful for you all. I hope you had a blessed Ramadan. I hope it was productive month for you. Even if you couldn't achieve the goals that you have set for this Ramadan, do not worry, don't be sad or like don't, you know, stay away from Allah and be like, Allah is probably disappointed in me because I couldn't achieve my goals or, you know, do my best this Ramadan. No, don't forget that you only need to worship Allah during Ramadan. No, there is after Ramadan as well, you know. Every day, every hour, every second is a chance for you to come back to Allah. Like, He will always be waiting you, not only in Ramadan, but also even like after Ramadan. As long as you are breathing and as long as you're alive, it is a sign that he is waiting for you. All you have to do is to just open your hands and sincerely be like, Ya Allah, forgive me. Repent to him and uh, ask from him. Talk to him as if like he's your friend, you know. Talk him about the things around you. Talk, talk to him about your life, about what you want from him, you know, about your goals. And things will get better, inshallah, and your connection with Allah will get stronger. But don't ever feel like, he hates you or he's disappointing you No, why should he hate you when he is the one who created you that just doesn't make sense um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video um and wishing you all a beautiful eid inshallah i will be filming an eid vlog um but yeah i'm so far done with my eid preparations i mean my overall eid preparation is just deep cleaning the house with my mom eat shopping and reflecting on ramadan and also like putting on henna and stuff but since i'm gonna put and uh, when there's like a day left for Eid, um, I'm going to show you guys that probably in the Eid vlog, not in this vlog. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, may Allah protect you and ma'asalam. Bye.